virtual reality is strange. At every blink of an eye, it seems like the world is ready to adopt and throw it out at every chance it gets. The current state of VR is nothing to shy away at. Major tech companies like Facebook are dominating in the space, and other companies like Apple are rumored to be developing one. But if VR doesn't change soon, I can see it falling behind until it catches up. Virtual reality. A computer-generated simulation of three-dimensional image or environment that can be interacted with in a seeming real or physical way by a person using special electronic equipment, such as a helmet with a screen inside or gloves fitted with sensors. Why does this matter? Well, currently to get anything amazing with VR, you're either spending a fortune on a Valve Index and a beefy PC, or getting the not-so-great Oculus Quest 2. The Oculus Quest 2 is the VR headset for the average user, only the ones interested for VR games like Beat Saber and those roller coaster VR videos. But there's one major flaw with the Oculus Quest 2. As of today's date, the only way to play PC VR on Quest is through a link cable, which is about $80, or virtual desktop, which only works on a good day, at least from my experience. Which means the experience is extremely nerfed. If you're trying to get some real usage out of your $300 headset, which begs the question, why would you even buy a VR headset when it's not going to be practical? Augmented reality. Augmented reality is an interactive experience of real world environment where the objects that reside in the real world are enhanced by computer generated perceptual information, sometimes across multiple sensor modalities, including visual, auditor, haptic, somatosensor, and olfactor. In my personal opinion, I cannot wait for augmented reality. If I no longer need to check my phone for text messages or watch videos from a floating 70 inch screen inside my living room, I'm all for it. Now, I know that virtual reality is always going to be a thing, but I feel like once we can really combine the two together, the entire world is going to change. But with that comes some serious problems. As some of you may or may not know, 5G and the current COVID-19 vaccine are being used as propaganda for right-wing media. While you can have your opinion on that, I can also have mine. But if we're ever going to have virtual reality or augmented reality take off, getting there will be no easy feat. People prioritize their data more than ever. If you have a set of glasses that can track your every move, scan your entire house, and keep you updated, people are going to be hesitant to adapt to new technologies. Personally, you know I'm having the latest technology in my house because that's what I like. But true adaptation of new tech only comes when everyone is accepting of it. I'm not trying to get political, but VR is going to change the way we function, not just for video games. I can see a world where instead of getting up every morning, getting dressed, heading off to work, you can stay in the comfort of your own home and get the work done that you need. To some degree, this can already be achieved. If you're a journalist or a video editor, you can do all your work in VR. Even now you can get a gym coach all in virtual reality. But until we have a fusion between both virtual and augmented reality, I don't see many people buying both augmented and virtual reality. Thanks for watching, follow me on Twitter and all that stuff. But uh, this is my like third day of uploading. Uh, I'm gonna plan on making these videos long term, like the three to four minute videos are nice, but I think we all know that the YouTube algorithm wants long videos, so expect a change in length of these. I've been trying to keep a strict once a day upload, so I, I, I'll see you tomorrow.